What's going on with you, Pop? Just trying to keep it together. That's make, it. Make sure things good. Make sure mom's good. That's it. Is that my shirt? I don't think so, sir. It look like it's my shirt. Yeah, it can look like whatever you like. <laughs> this ain't your shirt. It look like it's my I shirt. Got, I got uh, two more, not like this, different colors with the same design. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. so this ain't yours. Okay. Uh, I'm just making sure it ain't my shirt because it look like it fit me though. Okay, no, no, it ain't gonna fit you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. All right, Pop. Well, I touched on something, mm -hmm. as I usually do, mm. and uh, got a big reaction off of it. Mm. Night driving. There's a, a heavy insurgence. Uh, uh, um, uh, it's it's a real heavy occurrence in the, in the trucking industry, with the new truckers that are coming in, where they believe they don't got to drive nights. <laughs> they can't laugh at them now. They they rookies. They don't know no better. Oh, they're gonna get laughed at just because they rookies. <laughs> okay. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. They saying that they don't have to drive nights or they coming up with excuses like I'm not a night person. Um, I don't drive. I heard one. I don't drive past five, five or six o'clock in the afternoon because there's nowhere to park. Uh, I've heard it all. I've heard it all. It can is it can it just be them or 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 are they do they have to drive nights? If you're going to make any money in this industry, you're going to drive whenever it's time to drive. Period. Mm. I've been doing this 25 years. And you're not going, when you're trying to make a paycheck, a certain type of paycheck every week, you're going to run wherever you need to run when you need to run. Period. All that other stuff, they need to go find them a regular job. Pop, what about their feelings, though? Who gives a damn? Mm. Company don't care. Cause they just want you to push that freight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You cannot make money with a company; they won't fire you. They'll just let you not make money. Yeah, yeah. Cause sooner or later you're gonna get tired of that check looking like that, and then you're gonna run or you're gonna go somewhere else and try to find what you looking for. That's mm -hmm. not how that work in this industry. So now it, I don't know why is it just because you just got more sugar in your in, in your spit. You know, maybe the way you talk uh, allows people to. Just accept it. When I said it, it was a bad deal. You know, it's just, you know, it's um, I get I get the main thing is you know, well, some people can't see. So that's one guy. You know, he said, well, you know, I can't see that well. He don't really need to be driving shit if he can't see that well. So you. <laughs> That's a real bad excuse to leave with the trucking industry, okay? You don't really want to put that out there. <laughs> mm. So you're saying if you can't see, you shouldn't be driving at all. You shouldn't be driving a skateboard. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of those... What is your Instagram, Pop? Sandy Austin. See, I'm going to the wrong one. That's that's my fault. Right? Okay, there's also a pop of bear up there. You know what I'm saying? But that one I ain't used in a while. Okay, so all right, I got you, I got you. you know, that look just gets them going. So I just, you know, I did the bag above that. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, I'm pop that. Yeah. Drop that in there. I guess so. You look like me. You got the feeling. So it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what did the girl say to Donna just now? She said, you look like me. He looked just like you. He ain't got no mama. Mm. Now, I don't, th <laughs> I don't think, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that in this short of time, you need your phone? Your phone no, I'm good. Leave that shit right mm. there. Ain't nobody you know how it is. You got the biddies on you. And all I ain't got time for it. You ain't got time? Okay. I'm good. You look content lately. What's going on? You look really content. Just trying something different, son. Just chilling. A lot less headaches. You going to sell them? Everything. Say again? <laughs> you I can't even say that bullshit you say. Sell them, whatever. Are you going to a life of abstinence? I'm going to a life of peace and tranquility without all the bull crap and drama 
of the uh, opposite sex. Hashtag Sullivan. Anyway, we'll move on from there. We'll just move on. <laughs> Hash there. whatever the hell. <laughs> I don't care. It's all good. <laughs> I want to know, Pop, the, um, when you when you started driving, what year did you start driving? Ooh, I started driving back in the 90s. Uh -huh. Back then, what was training like for you? Did you have to do like a phase where you're on the truck teaming with a person before you learn how to drive, before you got your own truck? Actually, when I uh, uh, got out there with my trainer after we did the class, two weeks of class, which was bullshit, two weeks of class, and then they had a track where everybody go out there on the track in the bobtails mm -hmm. and just uh, go around the track at the speed of the uh, of the bobtail, you didn't touch the accelerator. Yeah. Okay. So when you needed, it, you were just out there to learn how to switch gears, double clutch and switch gears, mm -hmm. and then you go as fast as you know the truck goes in that next gear, and that was just that. And then they had a field where you serpentine and learn how to serpentine, and then you had a field where you learn how to back up mm. and stuff. Um, that was C1 Truck Driving Training School up in Indianapolis, but they shut down for some reason. I don't know, and I don't really care. Mm. But the thing is, that's where I got it. I went out with my trainer. I think I was out there with my trainer three days, and by the third, third half a day, he was in the back sleep. Mm. Yeah. Either you can do this or you can't. Yeah, because I, I, I heard a friend of a friend say that a friend of theirs went to a trucking school mm -hmm. and they sent them home and said they didn't request the skills to be to be a trucker. Mm -hmm. Like they just basically said you don't got it. Yeah, either you got it or you don't. You know, that's just the way it is. You know, if I'm sitting over here in a, in a training seat and I'm white and as a ghost and all my curly black man hair is standing straight up on my head, <laughs> you need to get the hell out the truck immediately. <laughs> You ain't driving nothing because I'm going to fail you. Okay? So, he was in the back by the third, by the, by, the, by the fourth day, by noon, he was in the back sleep. The rest of the three weeks we were out there. Like Until it was time for him to drive, then I was in the back sleep. Then we switched up, then I drove. He ain't even looked no more to see what I was doing. Y'all was just teaming at that point. Too. Pretty much. Because I didn't need him there. He said, you ready to go back to, to, to Charlotte? I said, whenever you are. He said, you got this. Went back to Charlotte, got in a truck, got my own truck. Went to work. And that's when the whoring began. Huh? I don't know nothing about the all that well, Let's stuff. get to the good stuff. I don't stuff. know about all that. What was all the cheeks at on the road? Okay. That's what we want to know. Back then, all th everything was in the horseshoe. What's that? You know about the horseshoe, right? No. Okay, well, the horseshoe might not be there no more. But anybody looking at this video that's old school like me, it's got a little time in, know where the horseshoe at. That's up there at the TA in Oklahoma City. Mm. Okay? All the chicks from the strip clubs would come hoeing over there. And believe me, there were some hammers back then. <laughs> what is... Oh, okay. stop, stop, stop. Because when you say stuff... <laughs> but what is a hammer? <laughs> Brick house, hammer, I mean, boom, boom, bam, okay? Girl had it, all the old school brothers, y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? They come, those strip clubs had some bad mamma jammas up in there. It was some hammers. It was around. some hammers, okay? Not hammer, hammers. Hammers, okay? plural. Okay, we black, okay? We don't use all that extra stuff, okay? okay? Hell, there's a hammer. There's some hammer. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Don't, don't play with me, son. Okay. We gotta get that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. Now, now okay. what, was you, what, was you, what was you bringing home a week your first year? My first year, I was driving How company. How much did you get a mile? And I was bringing home six or seven hundred a week. That ain't, that ain't bad. For, for the 90s, that ain't, that ain't. So, what was you getting a mile? A mile, when I first started, I was getting 22 cents a mile. Yeah. Yeah. 22 cents a mile. He's starting with 47. Yeah. Well, things have gotten better. See, now that, that confuses me, that right there. Mm -hmm. Because if you hear other people say things have gotten worse. That's all depending on how you're looking at it and what type of driver they are. Owner out say it's getting worse. 
Uh, I believe that it, it is it, to some degree it is getting worse as far as the rates are concerned because mm -hmm. nobody wants to pay. They're still trying to pay yesteryear's money for today's economy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And instead of you know you, you know you know they're making a killing. The brokers are bull crapping around instead of paying what needs to be paid, and so, so they can make more money on the back end. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And try to cheat the driver, but the driver's got all the overhead and expenses. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, nobody wants to be fair because everybody's greedy. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Greedy. Including some of the drivers. You know what I'm saying? They, they're greedy too. But, you know, everybody's not going to get a $3.97 load. Every day, man. Because that don't work that way unless you pull in uh, military freight all the time. Government contract, and got aircraft. Government contract, aircraft parts and engines and stuff and, 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 and uh, equipment and tools. And, you know, you're not going to get that all the time. You know, you're going to get those dollar loads or dollar 25 cent loads. But those loads sometimes lead to the better loads. It yeah, just depends on what kind of repertoire or position you are with your broker. You know, you know how cool you are with your broker. Some brokers you can't be cool because they so stupid they can't even. They don't even know how to flim flam. They just like right wide open. Well, I got this low paying, you know, uh, 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 eighty seven cent a mile. Mm. I mean, broker, are you stupid? <laughs> ain't no, don't no driver want that unless they stupid driver ain't just getting out there. Don't know what they doing. Yeah. You can't even offer the driver a dollar fifty cent a mile. He paying you to drive. You know what I'm saying? Who the hell gonna take? Ain't nobody taking that. Especially if. <laughs> If you have an older truck, you ain't got the, you ain't getting the gas mileage. It's, you wearing tearing your tires. You taking up time out of your seventy for eighty seven cent. I say I can't move. I I don't. I can't move my truck. I could, but in my mind, I can't move my truck for nothing less than a dollar eighty five. Right. And a dollar eighty five, I don't want to move it. Mm -hmm. So usually I get shot somewhere between. I try to stay at two. If you can stay at two, you can make money. Yeah, two and up. Yeah, you can make and money. And it can go up to three twenty six. But you you got to be in the in the area where you can make those kind of monies, or unless you got those type of contracts, you know what I'm saying, or you got something going with somebody, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, or something private or stuff like that, or you got a few trucks don't but a company that's paying X amount of dollars and stuff like that. But these these brokers are crooks. Mm. They just crooks, and I'm just putting it out there. I, I done went out there and did the broker thing with my boy. You know what I'm saying? And they crooks. They crook. Most of them are crooks. Not all of them, but most of them are crooks. And they and they just trying to trying to beat you every which way but loose. But they ain't got no overhead, so they don't care. But they gotta care because that low gotta move. But so they find some stoolie that'll move it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody well, will move what's it. What's a stoolie? Dipshit, dumbass, <laughs> knucklehead, fool, <laughs> however you uh, want to put it. This is the new era of PC. What's that? Political correctness. Man, ain't, ain't no political correctness. People ain't, have feelings. Ain't no political correctness in the White House. Ain't no political correctness nowhere. <laughs> you call uh, them dipshit. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. You know. Shit. Maybe they just don't know how to pick their loads um, correctly yet. Well, they'll learn after they go broke. <laughs> they'll, they'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You pull the load, load board, all those load board, all those brokers out there, new brokers are coming out every day. They drop the stuff on the load board or they'll go and get a load from somewhere else and put it and put it up there. And then as soon as they put it up there for such and such, they'll put it up there as bait for this such and such. And the guy call and get on it. Then some other guy, other guy call and he'll bid him lower than the other guy to I'm get done. him to take it. You see what I'm saying? Mm. You know, and all that foolishness. The broker gonna make money and make money on the amount of loads that you pull. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And everything. So why are you being so greedy? Because they just ratchet. I mean, that's what people people think. That's that's business. That's uh -huh. not business. That's not business. That's that's stealing. Mm. That's thievery. That's a hard allegation, right? No, there. it's not an allegation. Those are facts. It's stealing. They period. Feel, they, they but the, I gotta play the devil's advocate uh -huh. here. They feel that if you are, if you're going to take it and you agree to it, then that's not stealing. Because you agreed to make, you know, the person agreed. Now, the person may not be as informed as they need to be, but they feel... Then the ass shouldn't be out here. So if you're out here and you're not as informed as you need to be, 
by the teachings of the vile maxim, all for me and, and that's it, they have the right to take advantage of you. Nobody has the right to take advantage of nobody. The thing is, these brokers know what they're doing. That's what makes it jacked up. They know mm -hmm. they're, they're doing the bad thing. You see what I'm saying? They know the driver got to make money. They know the freight's got to be moved. If the freight sit too long, then the freight's going to go over to the to the um, box companies, mm -hmm. and they're going to pull it for little or nothing. What is the box? You mean box truck? Yeah, you know, 53 footer stuff like that. Mm. You know, they're going to go to them because they got more trucks so they can they can, they can can bid lower. You see what I'm saying? Mm. But if you're dealing with an owner operator, I'm not trying to pull this freight for 87 cent a mile. But you got a company like Snyder got 10,000 trailers. You know what I'm saying? They'll yank it for 90 bucks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, so, you know, uh, but see, it's too much freight out there because not even the big companies like that can pull all the freight. Mm. Then you got the intercontinental freight on the, on the containers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the box companies are getting into that now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying that's why the ports are so full. Yeah, and Warner and all them and getting Snyder into that too. and stuff. You know, and I ain't mad at them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you know, you know, you got you to just get, believe that that in, in good decency, right is right and wrong is wrong. Yeah, right is right and wrong is wrong. You know, there's plenty of money to be made. You know what I'm saying? You can't take it with you when you die. Because yeah, I mean, if you make over five million dollars, what else are you making? I mean, like, okay, what else are you gonna buy, dude? Like, now you're making money. It's a game at that point. Yeah, if you're making over five million dollars, your money making money. You ain't gonna really do nothing. Else. You can put your five million in the bank. It'll make money every year just on the interest alone. You can get a check coming to the house every month and still make money. You know, because that's the main dream of every. You know, trucker that comes to trucking school. I'm getting there. I'm gonna give you ten trucks and I'm gonna go home. I'm just yeah, well, them. they caught up on the dream, not on the doing. Okay, because it's harder to do than you know what I'm saying. And, you know, you can you can do it if you got the money to get ten trucks, and you have money to invest in your company like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you got money set aside for breakdowns. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. you got your money for your insurance, your plates, and all that, which is very expensive. Okay, one truck would. You know, uh, you got you to get your uh, your, your, your uh, rights and all that. All that costs money. You know what I'm mm. saying? And plates per truck, for 1800 per truck, 10 trucks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you got drivers. Then you got to deal with the hassle of drivers that don't want to work. Mm. You know, they just sorry. <laughs> just sorry. Just sorry. Sorry, I listen to I listen to drivers. You know, I'm at the truck stop. I'm eating. I listen to drivers, and I can pick out the sorry drivers. Mm. Just for how they t because of how they like talk. The TA at the bar, around that little round circle thing. They be they be back talking back and forth. Talking. They ripping us off. Right now. Yeah, you know, they ripping us off. But you sitting here talking, still going to make some money, or getting your getting your ten hours or whatever. Mm -hmm. You want to sit here and complain? I don't have time to complain because number one, I'm blessed. Hmm. To even have a job. And anybody that's working that's making a decent wage is blessed to have a job. So you don't have nothing to complain. You don't have nothing to complain if you don't decide of the dirt. Mm, 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 mm.